Hi guys, it's Courtney from Color Me Spiffy here and I'm here with another video for you guys. I decided to do what's in your coloring bag for April. I am going to try to do this every month like I see a lot of people doing. I think it's a really great idea. Um, I just want to really give a few shout outs to a few people really quick. Uh, for starters, I want to say thank you to Color and Chat with Sammy for coming up with this awesome idea. I think it's such a good idea and I, I really appreciate her creativity on this because it, it definitely helps like narrow down everything and you don't get too overwhelmed because I certainly get overwhelmed every month because I'm looking at my coloring books and I'm like, man, what do I want to touch this month? And then they say, oh, I want to, I want to color in this book and blah, 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 but it just never happens because I forget that it exists because I get sidetracked with another coloring. Um, so I just want to say thank you to Color and Chat with Sammy uh, for coming up with this idea. And I also want to say thank you to Emma Colors 2020. She's become my, my color and buddy these days and I really, I really appreciate her. She's helping me a lot with a lot of things and she was the one who gave me the idea to do this. Um, I really think it's, again, like such a great idea. Um, so let's get started. So right here I have a school bag and it has all of my coloring books in it. So that is considered my coloring bag. And I'm gonna just quickly move that over behind the chair. And I apologize if my screen is a little bit shaky. And uh, guys, if there's something wrong with the angle, just please let me know. I, I can never find the right angle when I do these videos. I feel like every time I make a new video, there's a new angle. I just don't understand. Um, so any tips you can totally give me on that be greatly appreciated because I only have a cell phone holder that is attached to the back of my desk and, you know, it just holds my phone. And it's nothing special. Um, so if you guys have any tips on how to what to do to figure out a good angle or anything, I would really, really greatly appreciate it because I could definitely use some help. Um, so let's, let's start. So for my first book, I have A Million Cute Animals by Lulu Mayo. I actually just got this in the mail this today. Um, and this was actually, is actually gonna be for the prompt for um, Finding a Woodland Critter. I had chose one of the, a Paul books. Um, I think it was the second book of Forest Girls. Or it was one of those. Um, but then I actually chose this one instead because it's a lot smaller and I already think I bit off way more than I can chew this month. But I'm going to try. I'm really going to try finishing all these pictures. It's not going so well right now, but hopefully I can manage it. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be my first book. Um, that I'm going to show you guys and oh also if you see anything I'm showing you today if you want to do a buddy color I absolutely love buddy colors um, I am a slow colorist so unless it's like something simple like a color by number or Jade Summer um, like grayscale picture if it's anything that's more detailed it's going to take me a long time because I'm a slow colorist I also spend so much time choosing colors um, so if, if you guys want to do a buddy color with anything you see or anything you see that I'm using in the future, please, please reach out to me on Instagram. I'm always checking my Instagram. I'm always on there. And I, you know, I, I want to get to know everyone because it's such a great community and I'm slowly building, you know, some color and buddies already. So if again, you see anything or any of these pictures I show you that I want to do for the month, if you want a buddy color and all the, any of them, let me know. All right. All right, so for this picture, I chose this one. Super cute little little squirrelies. I think he's, it's either a hamster or a chipmunk. I actually can't tell, but I more so chose it for the squirrels because they're woodland critters. This book is just so cute. It's just adorable. I'm so happy I decided to get it. You know, I have all I have, all I have four of her other books. I have a million owls, a million cats, a million sloths, a million unicorns, and I have yet to color in any of them. So please, if you have any Lulu Mayo books, reach out to me and we'll do a buddy color. Or if you wanna do a buddy color in this, this one for this month, please let me know. Okay, so my next one is gonna be from the first Forest Girls, and this is for Wish You Were Here. 
Um, this is definitely a project. And I've already started this, but I haven't really done much. And I chose this picture. I'm not going to copy it, but I really like it. It's super fan fantastical. And, you know, I think you could, you can either go one of two ways. You can make it super colorful or make it super greeny like she did. Um, but I don't know. We'll see because it does look a little overwhelming, but I'm trying to break it down trying to break it down in parts and just do small things at um you know small things at a time so i don't get too overwhelmed so that's that one Whew. all right my next book so this is actually not for the scavenger hunt prompt this is my buddy color my first buddy color with color me stress fee i'm sorry debbie from color me stress free um She's going to do a buddy color with me and I'm so happy because she doesn't know it and she just met me and we just started talking but I absolutely adore the work that she does and I'm just so excited um, to do this picture with her. So we chose to do a double page spread, um, the lobster, the lobster girl and it's going to be interesting. I mean, oh. Debbie, please, I'm just going to say I apologize in advance if it takes me a while to do this. Um, because as you can see, I am doing a lot of different things this month. And I'm going to try my hardest to finish this in this month. But please, you know, if it takes me a little bit longer, hopefully you understand. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to be doing this as a body color. And this was actually just decided today. Um... So I'm I'm really excited to dip into this. I also love Hannah Carlson's work. That's why I think she's actually one of my favorite authors. I not authors, illustrators, um, I've decided. So my next one is from Midnight Masquerade by again Hannah Carlson. Oop, sorry about that. It's a page I'm working on. And uh if you don't remember, I did choose this picture for my beverage for the beverage um part of the scavenger hunt. Um, I started this and the other copy I have of this book and I didn't like it. So now I'm kind of afraid of it, but I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to, you know, get past my fears. Like I said in my other video, um, I have a really terrible habit of stopping pages if I make one tiny bit mistake. So, yep, this is for the beverage and this is another book by Hannah Carlson. For my next book, um, it's a color it coloring book. It's called Colorful Seasons. And I love these coloring books. They have wonderful paper. And I chose this book for the, um, the part of the scavenger hunt that wants you to find a palm tree. And I chose it because of this little picture here. Um, this is because, you know, I thought this would be a really pretty picture um, very colorful and hopefully it comes out the way I expect it. Um, but yes, I chose that for the palm tree choice. Next, I have Kawaii Girls by Jade Summer. And this is for um, to find a dog. And I chose to do, where is it? Oh, goodness. Goodness me, there it is. I chose to do this picture. Um, I think this is so cute, little doggo. Um, I, I love this book. I love Kawaii Grayscale. And as everyone else, a lot of people say, these books, this and Chibi Girls and any Jade Summer books are so great to do body colors in because everyone has them. I mean, a lot of people have Jade Summer books. Um, and I do have a, I have a decent amount of their books, not her. I'm so sorry. Their books. Um, I could have more though. I did get all of their color by number books. Uh, excuse me. Um, but if you ever want to do a color by uh color by number, oh goodness. Um, if you ever want to do a picture in you know Kawaii Girls or Chibi Girls, please reach out to me. We can totally do a body color again if you want to choose this one. That'd be great. Um, makes me have motivation to um. You know start this and finish it by the end of the month still don't know how i'm gonna do that oh sorry i'm sorry if it's shaky 
So the next one I have is yet again another Jade Summer book. It's Cute Witches Grayscale. And oh, well, it's going to be a little bit of a spoiler because I did already start it. Um, Danny Buttons, don't look at this because I know we're doing a buddy color of this. Um, and if you do look at it, hopefully we're not doing the same thing. But if you are, hey, that's pretty cool. Um, so I chose to do this. I wanted to make her a uh, spring witch uh, because it is April. And I think these colors, um, they go really well together. And um, yeah, so this is also a buddy color with Danny Buttons this month. <laughs> The next book is Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Halloween coloring book. I chose this book for the spooky, the spooky choice for the scavenger hunt. And I am doing this buddy color with Miss Emma Colors 2020, who has already started this. And she's already making me scared to even do it because she keeps saying all these things about it, how it's hard. And I'm just like, no, I haven't even started yet. I'm going to be nervous. But yes, we are doing a buddy color in this for this month. Um, and I'm so excited to see how it comes out. This would be my first picture in Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Griffith. Um, her pictures are very scary. Um, but we're going to try, right? All right, so this one is Autumn Scenes by Color and Book Cafe. And this one I chose for vegetables. Again, I started it already, so a little spoiler alert. I'm actually gonna put a little tab in there um, because I don't know what happened to my tab. So yeah, so um, this is for the prompt, uh, for the vegetable prompt in the scavenger hunt. Um, also, I apologize if you can hear my cat in the background. He's very vocal. Buddy. I think he just wants to say hi to everyone. Although he doesn't come up on my desk and I really wish he did. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so this is for the vegetable prompt. Next one is from Ivy and Inky Butterfly from Johanna Basford. And for this one was the book's prompt and I chose this page because of these little babies down here. Um, it's a small picture but I figured, you know, I've seen a lot of beautiful pictures. Um, shh, come here, buddy. Sorry about this, guys. Shh. For the book prompt. Um, so yeah, so I'm really excited to see what I can come up with this. It's not gonna take me a long time, but you also see how many books I decided to take on this month. I see everyone else do like 50 pages a month and I don't know how they do it. And honestly, I could really use some tips because I just don't know how they do it. I really, really don't. Oh, guys, hold on one moment. I'm going to give him some treats. Can I have some treats, buddy? All right. So I only have a few more pictures. Um... This prompt was the candy prompt, and I chose Seasons by Hannah Carlson, and I chose, where'd it go? There it is. I chose this picture. Um, I believe it's Christmas, so it could also go for Danny Button's Jolly Coloring 2021, but it does have a little candies, um, so I'm very excited to do that. And last but not least, I chose Witch Apothecary Coloring Book by Alina Takachenko. I apologize if I'm saying that incorrectly. And this is from The Coloring Hive. And this is for the prompt with a hat. And I chose this little cattle with a little witch hat. I think it's so cute. Um, hopefully I stick with this and I don't change my mind, which I shouldn't. Um, but yeah. So that is what's in my coloring bag this month. Hopefully I can get through everything. It's, I'm actually gonna just put some of these books here. Um, it's a hefty amount of books and I'm, I'm a little nervous guys, I really am. Um, so please again, anybody colors, I will happily accept. 
And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I really appreciate it if you watched it and you watched it till the end. And you know, if you want to see more, I update, I upload, I try to upload a video once a week. I am a little late this weekend because of the holiday. But I am trying to upload a video every Saturday and maybe if I can one during the week. Um, I actually have a hefty, I have a nice amount of coloring books coming in this week. So I might do a little bit of a haul video. Um, but yeah, so I really appreciate it. You know, if you like this and you want to get to know me, reach out to me on Instagram. Say hi. I'm a pretty friendly person. I don't think I'm rude. Um, I'm just a little quirky. Uh, but you know if, if you enjoyed this just hit the subscribe button or you know and then once you hit the subscribe button hit the bell um it would really help um but you don't have to just watching my video helps me if you don't want to subscribe that's no big deal you know you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to um but yeah so otherwise thank you again have a great night stay safe stay healthy and as always peace love and color Bye bye